Have you ever wondered how this eye measurement was done? In this video, I'm going to be telling you how to get this eye measurement and what's it used for. If you find this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe to keep in touch with future videos like this. And without further ado, let's get started. So, let's answer the question, what is this eye measurement thingy and what does it do? So, basically it is an eye measurement macro and it basically zooms your eye of ender and makes it really easy to measure and it's also even more precise than the normal measurement so let's test it out how it actually looks in game so i will draw an eye first i will turn my fov down like how you always do and then you now press the macro key and you can measure eyes here and I'll try to make it precise And after you're satisfied with your measurement, you can press your FDC. And then, as you can see, a really high chance that it says it's 303. Yeah, it's 302 blocks away, which is accurate. To get this eye measurement macro, go down to the description and you'll find a link which will link you to Minecraft Java Edition Spearing Discord, resources public. And then from here you can click this download button and download the macro and i've already downloaded the macro which is right here and then you can edit the macro so the hotkey fits you and to do this you left click or right click your macro and then click open with any text editor you'd like and then you as you can see here, there's a hotkey where it says here, you can change this to whatever you like. I use Alt V, which is ex exclamation mark is a Alt and then this is a V. And then yeah, after you do that, you can save this and you can exit out. Next, I'll be teaching you guys how to make your ninja brain bot so it uh, gets you an accurate measurement. So you click the settings here and then you go to advanced. Here at standard deviation, you put this number to 0 0.008. And then you don't want to calibrate your standard deviation again because it'll give you a really weird value. And yeah. So also make sure when you're measuring the eye, make sure to make it really close to the middle left pixel, but not intersecting it. To give you the really really accurate measurements now you've edit your macro you can feel free to double click to activate your macro and then now you can go in game and then go in full screen or borderless depends on what you like and then now you can just throw an eye you can turn out fov first do all your normal stuff and then i use 31 because i'm in full screen and then turn the sensitivity down to very low and then from here you can press your hotkey already and then you can press exit a few times there oops it's a bit laggy so now you can like measure it here and then yeah press ctrl c you get it So lastly, I'll be teaching you guys how to make your instance go white while measuring the eye. So basically, you have to use game capture to measure the eye in order to work. So after you have your game capture, you press Ctrl E and then you make this bounding box type to stretch the bounds and then you click close. And then in game, you should be able to see it. Let me test this one more time. Your eye. Then this. Yeah. Now you get it. You press F11. You will see your measurements right here. And also, the last thing you have to take note is, according to the rules and regulations, you can only use this macro and then. You cannot use any 
other planet frog abuse macro if you want to use planet frog abuse then you can't use this macro because it's not allowed at the rules currently so make sure you take note of that and that's the end of this video and i hope you guys like this video and make sure to like and subscribe if you do and i'll see you guys in the next video and peace out